is cold as ice and willing to sacrifice our love. I'm Ross the Boss. Welcome to another episode. I want to talk sports with you, cowboy. You're wondering, Ross, why are you wearing this hat? Crespi High School in Los Angeles. Well, really, Encino. They're opening up their uh, lacrosse season today, tonight. They have an excellent coach, Brock Livingston. He's one of the finest individuals in the state. Great coach. He loves Golden Retrievers just like me. I'll probably go over there and root him on. Go Crespi tonight. Unbelievable program this guy put together over there, too. The best. Unbelievable. <coughs> um, let's start with the LA Kings. Last night, <laughs> I was in bed. Excuse me. I hope I'm not getting sick. Um, last night, I was in bed watching the Kings game. <coughs> and uh, 15 seconds left, the uh, Kings were playing the Las Vegas Golden Knights. And um, they were down by a goal. And they pulled the goalie. And they scored. They tied it up. They won, um, actually, in overtime. They um, they won in overtime to beat the Golden Knights. Great game. Exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not getting sick, but I just have something in my throat. But uh, the King game I love watching last night. I have a feeling they're in the upswing. I know they're a couple points out of uh, playoffs right now, but watch out other teams. The Kings are, Kings are looking good now. I have a good feeling now. They play Vegas tonight in Vegas. It's a must game for the Kings. Um, they have to win. Time's running out. Uh, Tiger Woods played over the weekend. He uh, played great. He was like the 140th rated golfer before last week. And he played so well, he's like up to like 41st now. Um, I love seeing Tiger play. I'm happy he's making a comeback. I know people write me, Ross, he's a, he's a pervert. He's a drug addict. He's washed up over the hill, but you know what? He's 42 years old. He's going to do something this year. He's playing in the Masters. That's coming up. He's going to play in all these other golf tournaments. He he has he has like unbelievable determination to come back. I love that guy. Good news, everybody. LeBron James has solved the uh, college basketball problem. He came out today and said it's corrupt. Really, it is? I had no idea, LeBron. Thanks for pointing the obvious out. Um, but his solution is he's going to talk to the commissioner, Silver, and talk to him about having some type of farm system for all the for all the teams so these players don't have to just go to college. They can play in the farm system. I, I like the idea. I feel these guys who do these like one year and they're done, basically they're just going to college for one semester. Um, the second semester, they're not even taking classes. They're getting ready for the NBA. They're going to camps. They're going to all this other stuff. It's like going to school for like three months. Who knows what classes they take? I'd love to see that. That'd be hilarious. But um, it's kind of a waste of time. No offense to these players who really take it seriously. But um, just to go one semester and you're done and you go to the NBA is, um, I don't know. I think it's kind of a waste but uh, I think LeBron has the answer. I have a good feeling about LeBron. He's going to get things done for us, everybody. Um, I hope, 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 hope he does. I mean, <laughs> every day it's something new with the uh, NCAA. Um, I just don't know if they're going to make all these penalties before the tournament or after the tournament. That's what I want to. That's what I'm curious about. You know what I mean? Um, it should it should be interesting uh, with the college basketball. And, they, you know, they're now, the two weeks from now, they're announcing, like, who's going to the tournament. So they better hurry up. Um, other good news today, uh, NBA, NFL, um, Sam Donald, the tally tally quarterback for the USC Trojans. People pick him as the number one pick. I don't. Um, he told the NFL Combine to go, go screw off. He's not going to do it, which um, I don't know. I don't think he needs to. I don't think any of these people need to. I don't think it matters that much. Um, he's going to do have his pro day when USC has their pro day in March. I think it's like March 21st or 22nd. I, um, I, I you know, I, I don't think he needs to put himself out there. I think, you know, he, 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 he was on national TV like every week, this quarterback for USC. And uh, 
you know, I, I just don't feel like he has to, like, parade himself around on for the combines. Um, but, you know, if he did it, great. If he doesn't, who cares, right? Um, NBA tonight, let's look at the Miami Heat. They're giving, like, one point to Philadelphia. They're at home, the Heat. Let's take the Heat tonight. I have a good feeling. I don't know why. Maybe because I read that Dwayne Wade... Might play next year, might not play next year. He's going to figure it out at the end of the season. He doesn't want one of these, like, good farewell tours. He thinks he thinks it's embarrassing. I mean, like Kobe and all these players, when they're playing their last year, they, like, go to every city and get these great gifts, like a car or, like, a, you know, rocking, a rocking chair. I mean, you know, whatever. But um, I, do th I do think it's um, nice that at least he's going to, He's still going out there. He might, he might retire, and he should. I mean, he's not playing like he used to. He's, he's, you know, he's beaten up. He's, his knees are hurt, and he's gonna get older. You know, I mean, the boss. I mean, I'm in perfect shape, obviously, but um, you know, people when you get older and playing that high level, it's tough. You know, it's like LeBron's 35. You know, I, I'm curious to see how he's going to play like in his late 30s. We'll see. Um, and uh, what else is going on tonight? Uh, just, I'll probably watch the Kings game again. They're playing Vegas. It's one of those back-to-back -back games. I'll probably watch that tonight. Again, I really enjoyed it last night. That was some good hockey. The NHL, they're making trades like crazy. Uh, it's like they made how many, like, I think they made like over 20 trades yesterday before the deadline. I mean, players were just flying out of their, you know, just flying out of the airports, going to the new place where they're playing. I mean, it was it was a big trading extravaganza. You know, bad teams are trying to get rid of their salary guys. Good teams are trying to get better players. Um, Tampa Bay really, woo, they really they really improved in all seriousness. The Rangers got rid of a lot of their good players. They, they gave up this season. Um, and actually, I think the Kings got a couple good guys too. So NHL season, please watch. It's going to be good. And that's me. I'm Ross the Boss. I'm out.